welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a nice and easy crock pot meal for when you really just don't feel like standing there and cooking or you really don't have time in your day to stand over the stove and cook. So for all you crock pot lovers out here, this one is for you. Um, before we get on to this video, please make sure you hit that like button and you also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos that I post from here on out. All right, let's just dive right into okay, it. Okay, so I actually started making this a little bit and then I realized like as I started, I'm like, oh my God, this would be such a great recipe to share with you guys. So I'm gonna catch you guys up right now. So in this crock pot we have two chicken breast. We also have half of a bottle of this Olive Garden signature Italian dressing. <clears throat> um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is putting one fourth cup of melted butter into it. Right, so we have our melted butter right here. Just got it out of the microwave. And then we're going to take this and we're just going to pour it in here like it says. Just like so. Alright, next we're going to be adding eight ounces of bone chicken broth to this. All right, now we're gonna add in some Parmesan cheese to this. I have a three blend grated cheese. Um, the recipe calls for about a cup, but I just eyeball it. All right, that is there. Actually, I'm just gonna, boom, and then leave a little bit left over in here so I can add it to the top of the pasta when we're serving it. And now we're also gonna go in and we're gonna add some pepper to this some ground black pepper and we're just going to sprinkle to our liking each uh, person likes pepper differently but you know your girl is about to season this up because this is going to be a big dish it's going to have a lot of pasta and everything in it so we're going to really need that pepper to be incorporated throughout the whole dish i might even add to add a little bit more while it's cooking because i don't think that's going to be enough <laughs> Um, and now we're going to take our 8 ounce block of cream cheese and we're going to cube it and add it to here. Um, I'm cubing it because it just melts better in the recipe. I've tried it both ways and I found cubing it is just definitely the way to go. All right, now that we have everything combined into a pot together, we're gonna set this on low for about five hours to cook, and we're gonna add our lid to it as well. When there's about 15 minutes or so left on this, that is when I'm gonna start my pot of pasta. So I will catch you guys back when it is time for that. All right, now we're back after about the five and a half hour mark, because it did say cook it for five to six hours. Um, and so after that, the chicken should be nice and tender and done. So all you're going to do is start taking two forks and you're going to shred the chicken up into shredded chicken. And then we also have on the stove right now some water boiling so that we can start getting our noodles ready to add to this. All right, after you're done shredding the chicken, it should look like this. The consistency of it should be nice and thick and creamy. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese though because I want it to be a little bit thicker than what it is, but you can always add it to your preference. All right, now we're gonna get the pasta in the water because it is boiling, and then we'll be back once it's done. All right, so the noodles are done cooking now, so we're just gonna go ahead and strain them real fast. So 
But once you're done straining them, then you're just gonna take the noodles and add them to your crock pot and mix it all together. All right guys, that is all for our crock pot recipe. Quick, easy, and something simple. If you don't wanna cook, just throw it in your crock pot, let it cook on its own, and come back to it later. So if you guys do end up making this recipe, make sure you tag me in it or let me know. I would love to see you guys making this recipe as well. I do really love it for the cold seasons and just in general, I am definitely a pasta lover. I will catch you all in the next video, and until then, be happy, be healthy, and be safe. Peace out, babes.